you're just starting your natural hair journey and you have no clue on what to do or you've had natural hair forever but you are not really sure on how to care for it to make it healthier to make it like mine <laughs> whatever your goal is this video is for you so stick around hey guys welcome back to my channel new growth naturals in today's video i'll be sharing with our natural hair beginners seven tips on how to get healthier longer hair if that's your goal of course well all of us goals should be to get healthier hair so without further ado let's jump right into it so tip number one moisture is everything when you start your natural hair journey or if you have always been natural but haven't really been taking care of your natural hair and you just want to start afresh pay attention to moisturizing your hair use moisturizers as often as needed and guess what girl deep conditioners are your best friend whenever you shampoo your hair use a deep conditioner <laughs> Tip number two, focus on your natural hair journey. Do not compare your hair to others. You may get frustrated. Everyone hair is different. The texture is different. The porosity is different. Your growth phase is different. And it is true that some persons genetically has longer hair or the tendency to grow longer, thicker hair. But guess what? Even outside of genetics, you can grow healthier hair and longer hair by simple following these tips that I'm giving to you. <laughs> Where was that? Tip number three, use a white tooth comb or your fingers to detangle your hair and that will go a far way when it comes to length retention. For natural hair as well, this is tip number four, make sure you have your shampoo days hat. Like make sure you're using sulfate free shampoos, paraben free conditioners. Outside of that, you want to make sure that you're washing your hair in sections. And what this will do is really help you through the detangling process, which will aid you in retaining length. So wash your hair in sections of twists, read up with a three, four, five, six, whatever sections work for you. Keep your hair stretched when you're going to the shampoo day. Let me give you an example. So if I'm going to wash my hair, instead of washing my hair out like this, I'll first twist it in four or six or braid it in four and six. And while I'm doing that, I'm stretching my hair, I'm putting my fingers in my scalp, I'm shampooing my scalp while trying to keep my hair as stretched as possible. That will prevent a lot of tangles, a lot of knots, and thereby help in length retention because when you're detangling your hair after shampoo, that's usually the time when a lot of breakage occur and that's when a lot of persons think that they do not grow hair. Like they think that your hair is not growing just because you're breaking it off during the detangling phase. So make sure during your shampoo days, you pay attention to sectioning your hair, taking your time to detangle the hair. Tip number four, or is that five? <laughs> Anyways, let's move right along. So the next tip I want to let you know is that do protective styling. Protective styling is everything when it comes to length retention. If you don't really care about length and you really want to wear your hair out like the way I have it, no, that's fine. But make sure that you're still doing the other tips to keep your hair healthy because you still want your hair to look nice and full. But if length is your goal, you're definitely going to be doing some protective style. Choose a protective style that goes with your hair type, your hair texture. And you want to make sure that your protective style is able to last like a week, at least a week. You can go up to six weeks if you choose. That's you. But if you're going like to wear a protective style for an extended period of time, make sure that you're able to gain access to your scalp to keep it clean. Because healthy hair grows from healthy scalp. So you want to make sure that your scalp is always clean. So if you can shampoo your hair while wearing that protective style, that's good. Or if you can get to your scalp to really oil and keep your hair moisturized while under your protective style, that's pretty awesome. Now, I want to point out something. A lot of persons may say, oh, well, I protective style my hair all the time. I've always been wearing protective style, yet my hair doesn't seem to be getting longer. I have the answer to that question. Like I said before, a lot of time when breakage occurs during that shampoo phase, if you're wearing protective styles for a long time and you're not retaining length, it simply means that you're very rough with your hair. Let me explain. Now, if you wear a protective style for a while, you'll notice that at your scalp area where the base of the style begins, you realize that you get a few inches or a few centimeter worth of growth. In other words, that should be adding to the length of your hair. 
After taking your hair down, if you measure it and you realize that you have not retained any length or over time you're not seeing any significant growth or you're not noticing any difference with your hair by, of course, being accurate by doing a tape measuring test or whatever you use to test the length of your hair or pictures, whatever you use, the answer is you're being too rough. And because you're being too rough, you're breaking off all that new growth that you have gotten, of course, from the ends of your hair. You have to take care of the ends of your hair. It is the oldest part. It is more susceptible to damages. It will get broke. It will break easily. So you want to make sure when you're taking down your protective style, my dear sister, take your time. Go through with a moisturizer if you need to. If your hair is like mine that coils on itself while it is wet, oils are your best bet. Saturate your hair with oil if you must and take your time and take down your protective style. Go through with your fingers. Loosen up any dirt or lint or whatever may be in the roots of your hair or towards the scalp area. And you want to gently remove those before you go into shampoo. If you go into shampoo, like if you're wearing a protective style for a long time and you go into shampoo with that protective style as you take it out without clearing it out first or detangling it first, what will happen? A lot of knots is going to uh, is going to occur. Simply because all that shedded hair that you have been shedding over time and you've been shedding a lot because you shed approximately 80 to 150 strands naturally per day. So over time, over the course of a week, two weeks, six weeks, you're going to accumulate all those shedded hair and that dead hair is going to get tangled with your healthy strands once that is wet and once you're trying to shampoo and that's where all the knots and tangles occur and you know you're going to take the comb or your fingers and you're going to have so much knots and you're going to be popping and you'll be detangling and forcing the comb through and that's how you end up with breakage so my darling i think i've explained it to you well enough take your time when you're taking down your protective styles let's move on to the last and final tip and I want you to pay close attention to this one. So now, sleep in a satin bonnet or use a silk scarf or sleep on a satin pillowcase. Whatever you have to do to protect your hair, do it. Because while you're sleeping, your hair is going to get dry. Your hair rubbing against your cotton linen or whatever linen you have that is not silk or satin is going to damage your hair. And you know what? If you're struggling with issues to grow your edges out and it's not you know, traction alopecia where you're putting tension on it, chances are the fact that you're not protecting your hair at night is causing your edges to really go. So that is the beginner's tip for you. Coming up soon, I'll have a video on products to use if you're a beginner. Beginners must have products. <laughs> anyway, guys, I don't want this video to be too long. Let me know in the comment section if you're a natural hair beginner or if you just started to take care of your natural hair. And let me know what questions you have. I may just do a video for you. Until next time, guys. Remember, Jesus loves you, so be very good. I see you in another video or live stream. Bye.